हेलो एवरीवन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड मनी फॉर इयर थ्री स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड मनी we know that every country has a currency like if i say america they have the currency like dollars and cents if i consider india they have the currency like rupees and pesos so we will see the relation between the bigger unit and the smaller unit how we are doing the conversions 1 dollar is given as 100 cents so dollar is a bigger unit and cents is a smaller unit If we say that one rupee is equal to hundred paisa, so rupee is a bigger unit and paisa is a smaller unit. When we are going from bigger unit to smaller unit, that means from if I have to go from one dollar to hundred cents, how do I going to reach that? We know that one dollar is hundred cents, so we have to use this hundred cents for our conversion from dollar to cents. If I have to go from one dollar to cents, how many cents are there? I am going from bigger unit to smaller units. That means I need to multiply that with hundred. Then I'll get the answer as one times hundred is hundred cents. If I have the cents and if I want to go to the dollars, that means I am going from smaller unit to bigger unit. I need to divide it with hundred. So we will follow the same rule in all the questions. Suppose I have to convert seven point three five dollars into dollars and cents together. This will be written as seven dollars and zero point three five dollars. How do I convert it? Zero point three five dollars into cents. I'm going from bigger unit to smaller unit. I need to multiply that with hundred. Let's do it here. Zero point three five multiplied by hundred. If I have to remove this decimal, that means if I have to move this decimal two units right, it means that I have to write hundred in the denominator. So this hundred will got cancelled from here, and you will get thirty five cents. My answer will be seven dollars and thirty five cents. The dot in seven point three five dollars separates the dollar from the cents. That means from the decimal point you can separate it. This will considered as a cent. So you can directly write down the answer as seven dollars and thirty five cents. Convert from dollars to the cents. That means I am going from bigger unit to smaller unit. What will be my conversion? I have to multiply my answer with hundred. Five point seven five dollars. You can directly write down the answer as dollar five and seventy five cents. But if you want to do the conversion, we will write down as dollar five and zero point seven five dollars. I need to convert it dollars into cents, so this will be multiplied by hundred. I am moving this decimal two units right. That means I am writing hundred in the denominator. Hundred will got cancelled from here, and this will be seventy five cents. So my answer will be five dollars and seventy five cents. Let's see the next example here. Nine point zero five dollars. Let's write down the answer directly. Dollar nine and five cents. This will be my answer. But if I want to do the conversion, this will be written as nine dollars and zero point zero five dollars. I have to convert this dollar into cents. So multiply this with hundred. I have to move this decimal two units right. I am writing hundred in the Denominator hundred will got cancelled from here, and you will get five cents only. My answer will be nine dollars and five cents. This will be my answer. Let's see the next question here. Convert from cents to dollar. That means I am going from smaller unit to bigger unit. What is my conversion? If you go from smaller unit to bigger unit, you have to divide it with hundred. Let's follow this in our questions here. We have. Six hundred and fifteen cents. I need to convert it into dollar. This is smaller unit. I am going to the bigger unit. Six hundred and fifteen cents. Let's divide this with hundred as we discussed earlier. Six hundred and fifteen divided by hundred. As we know that when we have zeros in the denominator, so how many zeros do we have? Then we have to put the decimal after that digits. So we have two zeros in the denominator. That means I have to put decimal after two digits so this is my first digit this is my second digit and after that i have to put the decimal let's write down the answer as 6.15 dollars this has been converted into dollar 
let's see the next question here 490 cents so let's divide this with 100 490 divided by 100 one zero is got cancelled from numerator and denominator both my answer will be 49 over 10 we have one zero in the denominator so that means after one digit i have to put the point this is my first digit and after that i have to put the point that means my answer will be 4.9 let's write on the answer as 4.9 dollars or you can say that it is 4.90 dollars this will be your answer let's see the next question here ali came up with ways to make one dollar first question is 40 cents and i have to add something inside it to make it one dollar how are we going to do these questions first we will understand that how much is one dollar in cents we know that one dollar is 100 cents so we have to make 100 cents what do we have we have 40 cents what should i add in 40 cents to make it 100 cents the 100 and 40 what is the difference between both of them the difference between both of them is 60 cents so if i add 40 cents plus 60 cents that will give me 100 cents let's write on the answer as 60 cents here the next question is 95 cents plus i need to add something to make it one dollar one dollar is 100 cents i have to make it 100 cents i have 95 cents i have to go closer to that cents i have to go plus the number which will give me closer to the zeros it shows you that that means if i add plus 5 here i will reach to 100 if i add 95 cents plus 5 cents this will give me one dollar let's see the next question here i have 35 cents and i have to make one dollar i need to make 100 cents here i have 35 cents i have to add some number inside 35 cents to make it closer to zeros the closer to 35 is 40 which number i should add it in 35 to go to 40 five dollars right that means i'm adding 35 plus 5 to reach to 40 cents i reach to 40 cents by adding 5 cents inside it from 40 cents i have to reach to 100 cents what is the difference between 100 and 40 that will be 60 cents that means i added 60 plus 5 which is equals to 65 cents to get the answer one dollar let's write down the answer here as 65 cents here this shows you that 35 cents plus 65 cents will be one dollar let's see the next question here i have 55 cents and i have to reach to one dollar i have to go to 100 cents here 55 is closer to 60 how do we reach from 55 to 60 what number i have to add it i have to add plus 5 that means 55 plus 5 will give you 60 cents here i already reached to 60 cents from 60 cents i have to reach to 100 cents so 100 minus 60 is 40 cents right so 40 cents plus 5 cents you added here extra so that will be equal to 45 cents 55 cents plus 45 cents will give you 100 cents that's how you can do your questions let's see the next question here mary bought a tin of berries for dollar 3.20 and a box of sweets for dollar 1.55 how much did mary spent all together i need to find out this answer there are two ways to do it because he is asking that how much mary spent all together that means he has spent 3.2 zeros on berries and 1.55 on a box of sweets that means i need to add it you can directly add it but while adding you have to write down the number in such a way that decimal should be written below decimal if i add them 3.20 and 1.55 so i have written below decimal is decimal let's add it here 5 plus 0 is 5 here 5 plus 2 is 7 here 3 plus 1 is 4 here 4.75 dollar is my answer let's do the same question with the second method 3.20 dollars will be written as three dollars 
and 20 cents. 1.55 dollars will be written as 1 dollar and 55 cents. We should know that the dollars should be added in dollars only and cents should be added in cents only. Let's add 3 dollars and 1 dollar. How much dollars do we have now? 3 dollars plus 1 dollar will give you 4 dollars. I have to add cents now. 20 cents plus 55 cents. You have to add it. Let's add it here. 20 and 55. And need to add it. My answer will be 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. This will be equal to 75 cents. My answer is $4.75. If I have to combine it into the dollars, this cents has to be converted into dollars. This is the smaller unit. I am going to the bigger unit. The conversion rate is divided by 100. Let's divide this with 100 to convert it into a dollar. 75 over 100. After two digits, we have put the decimal. So this is my first digit. This is my second digit. And after that, I have to put the decimal. Let's write on the answer as 0 0.75 dollars. My answer will be 4 dollars and 0 0.75 dollars. If I combine it, how do I have to combine it? There is no decimal here. How do I put the decimal? So 4 dollars will be written as 4.00 dollars and 0 0.75 dollars. Now I can add it. Let's add it here. 4.00 and 0 0.75 I have to add it 5 plus 0 is 5 7 plus 0 is 7 and 4 plus 0 is 4 my answer is 4.75 dollars but if you know how to add 4 dollars and 75 cents as I discussed earlier decimal separates the cents so you can write on directly as 4.75 dollars let's see the next question here Mrs. Leong bought a bottle of detergent for $9.15 and a broom for $3.85. How much did both items cost altogether? I need to find out the cost that how much Mrs. Leong spent on both the items. That means I need to add it. So again, there are two ways. You can follow any method. You can directly add 9.15 and 3.85 together 5 plus 5 is 10 so this will be 0 here and 1 carry over 8 plus 1 plus 1 is 10 again so that will be 0 here 1 carry over 9 plus 1 is 10 and 10 plus 3 is 13 so my answer is 13 dollars let's do it with the second method here I can split it from 9.15 as I discussed earlier point separates the cents so this will be written as $9.15. This will be written as $3.85. Dollars must be added in dollars only. Let's add 9 plus 3 which will give you $12. Cents will be added in cents only. 15 plus 85 I need to add it. Let's add them here. 85 plus 15. 5 plus 5 is 10. So 0 here, 1 carry over, 8 plus 1, 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. So this will be 100 cents. We know that 100 cents is equal to 1 dollar. So that is equals to 1 dollar. I have to add my answer. I have 12 dollars and 1 dollar. If you add it, your answer will be equal to 13 dollars. That's how you can do it. Let's see one more example here. Ram bought a book for dollar 6.70 and a paper envelope for 80 cents. How much did both items cost all together? Again, I have to find out how much Ram spent on both the items. I have to add it. Let's add it with the first method. 6.70 and this is 80 cents. There is no decimal. So 80 cents should be converted into dollars first. You are going from smaller unit to bigger unit. That means I have to divide it with 100. This will show you 80 divided by 100. After two digits, I have to put the point. So this is my first digit. This is my second digit. And I have to put the point after that. My answer will be 0 0.80 dollars. Let's add it here now. This will be 0 0.80 dollars. I have to add it. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 7 is 15. 5 here, 
and 1 over there and that will be equal to 6 plus 1 is 7.50 dollars. This will be your answer. Let's do it with the second method. 6.70 dollars will be written as 6 dollars and 70 cents. I have 80 cents here. So 6 dollars is separate. So 6 dollars is my answer here. I need to add cents together. That means I need to add 70 plus 80 cents here. Let's add it here. 70 plus 80 cents. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 7 is 15. Let's write down the answer here as 15. So this is 150 cents. Let's write down the answer here as 150 cents. This is more than 100. So when it is more than 100, you have to split it into 100 plus some number because 100 cents will give you $1. Let's write down as 100 cents plus 50 cents. This will be written as 100 cents and 50 cents. 100 cents is equal to $1. And this will be 50 cents. My answer is $6 plus $1. How much it will be? 6 plus 1 is equal to $7. I have $7 and 50 cents. This will be my answer. You can write on the answer as $7 and 50 cents. Or you can combine it and you can write on the answer as $7.50. That will be your answer. Let's see the next question here. Solve it and give me the answer. Dollar sixty point three five plus dollar eleven point six five. You need to add it. So there are two ways to do it. Again, either you split it and add it, or you can follow the addition method. Let's follow the addition method first here. Sixty point three five, and this will be written as eleven point six five. I need to add it. Five plus five is ten. One carry over. Six plus one is seven. Seven plus three is ten. So that will be zero here. 1 carry over, 1 plus 1 is 2, 6 plus 1 is 7. My answer is $72. Let's write down the answer here as $72 here. Let's do it with the second method. $60.35 will be written as $60 and 35 cents. $11.65 will be written as $11 and 65 cents. You have to add them separately. Let's add it here. 1 plus 0 is 1, 6 plus 1 is 71 dollars. If you add it here, 5 plus 5 is 10 here, 1 carry over, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10 here, so that will be 100 cents. 100 cents is 1 dollar again. I have 71 dollars and 1 dollar, so that will give you 72 dollars, that will be your answer here. Let's see the next question here. 16.59 dollars plus 3.85 dollars let's add them so it is 16 dollars and 59 cents i have 3 dollars and 85 cents i have to add them separately 6 plus 3 is 9 here and 1 that will be 19 dollars if i add them here 9 plus 5 9 plus 5 9 is closer to 10 so 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 4 is 14. So that will be 4 here and 1 carry over. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 1 will give you 10. And 10 plus 4 give you 14. Let's write on the answer here. 144 cents. As I told you earlier, this is more than 100 cents. I need to split it. This will be written as 100 cents and 44 cents. 100 cents is 1 dollar. This will be 1 dollar and 44 cents. My answer is... $19 plus $1 that will be $20.44. Let's write on the answer here as $20.44 or this will be written as $20.44. Let's see the next question here. $12.35 and $13.75. Let's add them here. This will be written as $12.35. This is $13.75. If I add them separately, this will be 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 plus 1 is 2 and $25. This will be, if I add them, 5 plus 5 is 10. 1 carry over. 7 plus 3 is 10 plus 1 is 11 cents. This is again more than 100 cents. So this will be written as 100 cents plus 10 cents. 100 cents will become $1 and this is 10 cents. 25 dollars and one dollar if you add it that will be equal to 26 dollars 
let's write on the answer here as 26 dollars and i have 10 cents or you can write on the answer as 26.10 dollar in together these are the two questions i am giving it to you to solve it by yourself give me the answer in the comment section and i'll reply you back thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below bye bye everyone